A question that people ask us all the time, whether it's online or they're coming into our gym, is can I look like that? They've either seen somebody on Instagram that does CrossFit, or they've maybe just watched the CrossFit games and they see all these jacked people and they wanna know if I do this or if I do CrossFit, can I build muscle and look jacked like those people? And the simple answer is yes, but it's also not that easy. I'm sure you've heard the saying, nothing worth having comes easy. I think that's how it goes. I don't know, I usually get my words twisted, but essentially that goes for any goal. Any goal, anything that you're striving to achieve, anything that's worth the hard work is not going to come easy. It's not going to come just from sitting on the couch or doing 60 minutes a day casually. It's going to come from all of the little pieces added up together to reach that goal. When I say little pieces, I'm talking sleep, nutrition, showing up every single day, working as hard as you possibly can. So when it comes to CrossFit and building muscle, yes, you can build muscle, but it doesn't just happen overnight and you have to put the work in. You have to set your goals, whether that's for bodybuilding, CrossFit, powerlifting, doing an Ironman, whatever it is, it takes hard work. Something you need to keep in mind is what your goals are and where you're at. Whether you're just new to fitness or maybe you've been doing fitness for 20 years. If your goal is to build muscle and maybe you don't have a lot of it yet, that's set one, one path for your goals. If you've been bodybuilding for 10 years and you've got a ton of muscle already and still wanting to gain more, if we're being realistic, just doing CrossFit's probably not gonna be the best way to do that. CrossFit itself, absolutely can build muscle. And a lot of times what we're doing in there is hypertrophy and different versions of it. We've got all kinds of different weight ranges. We've got all kinds of different rep ranges in all kinds of different exercises that we're doing in a multitude of ways throughout the week, the month, and the year. So when we wanna build muscle, we need resistance training. We need strength training. The reason being is yes, maybe during the cardio workout, you burn more calories during that specific workout, but you don't get the afterburn. You burn the calories in the workout and then you're done. When you do that resistance training, your metabolism stays elevated. You continue to burn calories over the next 24 hours and you continue to build that lean muscle so that way you look and you feel stronger. So you want to make sure whatever program you're on, whatever design it is, that it has strict pull-ups, it has bench press, it has resistance where you're moving either your body weight or you're moving weights regularly. You can have that cardio piece involved or included in that program, meaning you could be doing rowing intervals, you could be doing running intervals. That's all gonna be really great for your aerobic system. It's gonna make you breathe easier, but we can't be only doing that if we wanna build muscle. We need to be getting reps in squats. We wanna wake up, feel really sore in our chest and our glutes, and that's how we're gonna start building muscle. With that being said, maybe you're following the perfect program. There is no perfect program, that was a joke. Whatever program you're fo following, maybe it is designed to be building strength, building muscle, but what you have to remember is it is a process and it takes time. So like I alluded to before, hard work, anything worth achieving is worth working hard for, but you can't only work hard for two months and then be like, oh, I'm not getting anywhere and throw in the towel. It takes years, it takes time, it takes showing up, dedication, commitment, and just striving to be the best you can and showing up for yourself each day. If you haven't done CrossFit before and you're interested in trying, one of our biggest pieces of advice is kind of dip your toe in the water and do that slowly. Don't jump in both feet. We tell everybody that comes into our gym that all of the time. We want long-term health and fitness. That is our objective. But if you've ever done a CrossFit workout, jumped in with a friend, you've likely been very sore the next day. And that is because it's typically very high volume. Something else I think people need to do is set realistic expectations. When you see that games athlete on TV or that person you follow on Instagram, uh, they're likely not just doing an hour CrossFit class a day and they're doing a lot of extra. Not just CrossFit, also, they're probably working on other things as well. From firsthand experience, there's a big difference between doing CrossFit to look good, to build muscle, to feel good, and doing CrossFit at the competitive level. So if you start to realize like, wow, I really wanna take this to the next level, I wanna do this thing, then we're gonna have to do more of it. Just like if I wanna go compete in running, I'm gonna have to run more. If I wanna swim, I'm gonna have to swim more. You're gonna have to dedicate those hours. It's like that 10,000 hour principle of building rep on rep on rep so we can have that foundation. So from firsthand experience, a lot of times those CrossFit Games athletes that you see, they are not doing 60 minute workouts. They may hop in with their classes, but they've probably got another three to even maybe up to six hours programmed of accessory work. When it comes to training for the CrossFit Games, there's the accessory
accessory skill work, focusing on ring muscle ups, handstand push ups. There's the bodybuilding piece, focusing on strengthening all of the smaller muscle groups. There's the weightlifting piece, the cardio piece, and I could go on and on. So I think knowing that joining CrossFit doesn't mean you're going to be a CrossFit Games athlete, and I think that's where people get confused. So setting that realistic expectation. And though we think CrossFit's a great general training system or methodology, once you get to a certain point, if you've got more specific goals, whatever those are, you're going to have to work more specifically on those to get better at them. Whether that is a ring muscle up, you can't just keep coming up, showing up at CrossFit class or doing your average programming and hope at some point you get a ring muscle up. With the wide variety of things that we do in CrossFit, continuously doing it, you will get better conditioning, you will get stronger. But again, with those specifics, you're gonna to have to work on them specifically. If you want to become a better runner, you're gonna to have to do more running at a certain point. And if you wanna look more muscular, you're gonna to have to focus specifically on looking more muscular. And I can say, from working with the games athlete and watching a lot of them train they also will specifically work on bodybuilding as well and that's something that is absolutely applicable uh, and will also translate directly to CrossFit if you want to be better at handstand push-ups you can do a lot more handstand push-ups but it's probably a little bit more practical to know that it's gonna take some pressing strength and I can maximize my time and energy by strengthening my triceps which will directly correlate to me getting better at handstand push-ups if you're enjoying this video, flex on that like button. It's really fun when you start to see all of those things come together. So for instance, it's like, wow, I'm failing this lift at this, this area, so I'm gonna focus on some single leg strength or some glute strength so I can stand up my squat. Or maybe it's midline strength so I don't collapse as much as my front squat or pulling strength like he's talking about. That's what makes CrossFit so fun. That's what makes it a full body workout. And that's where people really start to see results. When you show up to the gym, you are doing something constantly varied with a different stimulus each day. We are getting that great metabolic burn, metabolic burn, metabolic. <laughs> We're getting that great metabolic burn on the back end, just constantly breaking those muscles down, but it's a different muscle group. So we can keep showing up and we can keep working hard every single day. And I think we also have to be honest as well. You can work out as hard as you want. And there are the genetic freaks out there that get to eat whatever they want and sleep three hours a day or three hours a night and it just doesn't seem to phase them, but for the majority of us, that's just not the case. And it is almost an equal pie chart of the amount of time you spend in the gym, how much you focus on your diet, and how much good sleep you're getting. If we are not focusing on our diet, we are not drinking water, we're eating cheeseburgers and Dairy Queen, we are not gonna be building muscle. We're just gonna be putting layers of fat probably over whatever muscle we do have. So we wanna make sure that we focus on that clean nutrition, eating well, eating whole. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to dial every macro in, but. 80% clean, 20%. And then the next big piece is gonna be sleep. So for me, I use my eight sleep. I can set my temperature to cool every night, hop into bed, know that I'm gonna get the best sleep, check my HRV and my heart rate right when I wake up, knowing that I'm rested and feeling good. Sleep is gonna directly translate to our fitness inside of the gym. Something else you should be doing with your sleep is being sure that you get up at a regular time. It's gonna make your sleep schedule a lot easier to keep up with and it's gonna make it more efficient while you're sleeping. And like Chrissy was saying, even if you are eating all that junk food, you may be building muscle also, but you're not gonna see it because you're not gonna be lean enough to see it. To sum things up, again, of course you can build muscle doing CrossFit, but if that is your primary goal, you should probably be seeking out some accessory work to kind of amplify that. CrossFit's great, but again, working on our specific goals, it does not hurt by any means to be doing some extra accessory work, whether that is some extra curls, some bench press, uh, some typical bodybuilding stuff. The same would apply if you wanted to get a bigger deadlift, you're gonna have to work on that separately outside of just CrossFit. All the professional athletes do that, no matter what it is they're working on, running, bodybuilding, um, it, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of time and energy and whether your goal is the games or just to look better, anticipate and plan on doing a lot of extra work. We hope this was helpful. You can 100% build muscle. We are true testaments of that. Hopefully you've seen just kind of our journey that we've shared with you. But just remember, it takes time to look a certain way, to change your body. Everything takes time. So don't give up, don't get, don't get down on yourself. Just kind of evaluate the big picture, sleep, eat, program design, what you're doing daily, how much you're working, how hard you're working, and from there, those are all the right things to be on the track to just continue working hard and building muscle. We hope you guys like this video. Don't forget, subscribe and smash the like button. Drop a comment below if you had any questions on anything we talked about. Have a great day.